The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit every single week. Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to help you find things on digikey.com. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search of the Week this week? Okay, this week, um, well, we're going to build on last week's uh, NPI, which was that headphone amp. This week, I'm going to get the headphone connector because uh, I realized a lot of people actually have been emailing asking, like, where, how do you, where do you get these headphone connectors that you're using? Um, this one's quite nice. So let's go to the overhead and I'll show it off real fast. So for the little uh, gamer board prototype, um, underneath here is the uh, headphone amp. That's the Maxim part that we showed off last week. And then this is the little headphone jack. And I really like this style headphone jack because it's quite slim. Um, it's surface mount only, but it's, uh, it's TRRS, which can be nice because you can get the microphone output. And um, it's not that much bigger than like the jack itself. Like sometimes th these are really kind of chunky, but these are very slim. Um, and they're slim enough that they fit between uh, the headers on this board. So let's find um, this uh, jack. This one actually in particular does not have the through hole um, pads. I, I found that you don't need them, but it does have a cutout on the uh, PCB. So this is actually kind of nice, I think, because usually the, mo the most strain comes from pushing into the board. Um, you don't want people to like, you know, push and, and shear at the same time. So there's a little bit of a cutout. You can kind of barely see the little U. There's a little piece of plastic that goes into the board that just kind of gives it a little bit of um, mechanical strength. So let's go to whoa, dig, dig.com, digikey.com. And let's search for, so these are weird. They're not, you'd think that they're called headphone jacks and they kind of are, but they're called um, phone jacks, right? Because to just historically, if you look at old like videos or photos, um, these were used for uh, telephone systems. That's kind of what they were. The, the quarter inch type were used for, um, you know, plugging into a uh, switchboard. Uh, so they're called phone jacks. Um, so, uh, or barrel audio jacks. So we're going to go to uh, barrel audio connectors. And you know, what's funny is like, there's a lot, but somehow there's less than I expect. So you can get like kind of anything and, you know, sockets and RCA type and, and panel mount and all that. What we're looking for specifically is uh, like this industry recognized diameter. We want three and a half, um, which is, sorry, 3.5 millimeter, otherwise known as uh, quarter inch, sorry, eighth inch. Uh, quarter inch is um, 0.25 inches, 6.35 millimeters. Um, eighth inch is not actually eighth inch, it's 0.14. So it's like a nominal, right? One thing you learn as an engineer is like everything's exact until it's nominal. Um, eighth, inch, eighth, eighth inch nominal is not 1.25, it's 1.4. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, so uh, searching for that. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so these, yeah, these look more reasonable. Um, so there's all sorts of types. There's uh, wire inline. There's this, which is actually kind of close to what we're looking for. Um, through hole, you know, more panel mount or inline. So let's um, let's go for, we want active and we want uh, jack and we don't want dual or triple, right? Where you have three to where we want singular. Um, and we don't want RCA. So that's fine. So let's apply that filter. And then um, one thing that I looked at was um, some of these are called um, cut out style. And I was like, what is this? So let me show you. Hold on. Uh, so let's do um, not panel mount. Let's do surface mount right angle. And there's board cut out and there's non board cut out. And apply all. So board cutout type is interesting. It looks like, hold on, let me find one. Because it was like unusual. I was like, oh, what is this? Uh, surface mount, surface mount, surface mount, board cutout. Okay. So this is board cutout. And here's something interesting about this uh, design. You see how that like the legs kind of come out from the side? So this is something where you actually have, you want to have like the jack be centered on the PCB, not rising above it. Usually 
like we don't want if you want to have like a very elegant design right you want to have the usb jack come out through the center so it has, it's kind of floating in the middle of the circuit board you can do the same with um headphone jacks let me find this is another one so you can see it's kind of like it's weird like it sinks into the pcb and is is goes in upside down so that it's um centered on a um 16th inch pcb anyways I'm not going to use this, but I thought it was interesting for people who are like, oh, I want to have that really elegant, you know, the, the hole is right centered in the product, and the product has the PCB um, centered in the enclosure. Because otherwise, you know, it's like kind of Apple sort of popularized this. Like beforehand, it was like, yeah, fuck it. Like all the characters are like uneven and they're wherever you want. But if you want them to have a, a really elegant straight line of all the connectors, you might have to have them sunken into the PCB. Anyhow, uh, so let's just do surface mount right angle. And then the next thing is um, you can get ones with uh, switches inside of them. And um, so, you know, at this point, I sort of, there's a couple that are very similar in style. So the, the style I use, which is this, um, there's quite a few of them, but I, I sorted by price. And, um, oh, sorry, I also want to look at ones that are in stock right now. And um, I found this one. So this one you can tell by the rendering. This is upside down, but you can see that there's more than uh, four contacts or six co contacts on the bottom. So if you have three contacts, you know, it's almost certainly going to be left, right, and ground. If it's four contacts, it's usually ground, microphone, left, right. And if there's more than that, it means there's internal switches. And the internal switches can be used to like, you know, when you plug in, it disconnects the speaker, or you can use it with a very light pull down um, to indicate whether, you know, something has been plugged in to either turn it on or to, um, you know, enable audio output at all. Like, there's no point in turning on the audio subsystem, maybe if the headphone isn't plugged in. So you can check out the, uh, data sheet. And yeah, it has a bunch of contacts and, uh, so this is what it looks like. So, um, you know, normally you plugged in and you get ground mic left and right and when it's unconnected um the left and right are connected through to five and six uh which lets you you know have an internal speaker or again some detection that says like okay that headphones not plugged in um you know it would be really great if headphones had like a separate switch that was not routed like it wasn't going through the audio line like line path but I actually, you know, once I found a, a, a jack that did that, but since then it's been, it, I always find it this way. So even though this doesn't seem like it could be used to detect a headphone, like it, it looks like it's only good for switching the audio line through speakers or not, you can use it for um, detection of whether um, a speaker is plugged in and in, or a headphone is plugged in. And in fact, the headphone amplifier we talked about last week does have in the app notes section a circuit to show how to disable the headphone amplifier when um, these switches are, are opened. Um, so that said, this is a very cute um, headphone jack. It's got the mounting holes, so it's kind of nice. I don't know if you need a board cutout. Oh yeah, you do. You can kind of see it goes a little bit underneath. So you know, either you have it up against the edge of the board or you do a little bit of a cutout if you don't want it to be um, sticking out past. And it's uh, very affordable. It's like 80, 88 cents for singles, um, you know, 60, 55 cents in a reel. And uh, I like it's gold plated and it's from Tensility. So this is my pick for the great search. And that's a great search.